and have, <clears throat> have taken an active role, this city and the political leaders in it, in perpetuating this genocide in our people of Gaza. As we are here today in New York City, we are part of an international day of action, of solidarity with the Palestinian people. Today there are protests in Houston, there are protests in San Francisco, there are protests in Montreal, there are protests in Niger, there are protests the world over for solidarity with the Palestinian people. Because Palestine has become the top headline, the main compass of the global struggle against imperialism and for the people of the world. Yes. This week, a people who stood firmly with the people of Palestine from the beginning of this bloody war from October 8th and before that for many, many years, the people of Lebanon will see a ceasefire. Lebanon, some of the only people who have stood with the people of Palestine while governments and the world system remain completely incapable of stopping this genocide. Today we see ceasefire in Beirut, we see ceasefire in the south of Lebanon, we see ceasefire in all of the villages across the border with occupied Palestine and Lebanon. Tomorrow we see it in Gaza, and the day after that we see a liberated Jerusalem and a free Palestine from the river to the sea. speakers from organizations that have led this movement coming to address us on the importance of this day and on the importance of our struggle and on the importance of continuing this struggle regardless of who the President of the United States is. That's I'm going to start us off with the program by calling Nye from the Palestinian Youth Movement. <laughs>
that Palestine will win. Over the past year, we have learned many lessons. Lessons that were brought to us by the steadfastness of the people in Gaza and the people of our region who stood with them. The first lesson is that Israel is a pariah state in the eyes of the world. Second, the United States will stop at nothing to protect its genocidal colony in the Middle East. And most importantly, the Palestinian people carry a struggle that is confronting the most violent and monstrous system of war and genocide. And because of this, our small and brave Palestine and the strong, steadfast Palestinian people are capable of mobilizing the entire world to stand against imperialism and for liberation. Palestine, and Gaza specifically, has been able to mobilize the entire world under the banner of liberation. On this international day of solidarity with Palestine, we, re we recommit ourselves to the revolutionary struggle for our homeland, as we have done every single day this past year, bringing out thousands to demonstrations, hundreds to organizing meetings, to fundraisers, to campaigns globally. We have done this because every single day is a day of solidarity with the Palestinian people and their heroic cause. What does this mean? It means the only path forward is struggle. Struggle every day, struggle every day, struggle every day until Palestine is free from the river to the sea. Every generation, every generation has and must discover its mission, its true mission. Either fulfill it or betray it. Will this generation take up its task to organize and mobilize and struggle until Palestine is free, until all oppressed people are free, until we are rid of the cancer of Zionism and imperialism? Yeah.